lack of thing about cooking when the videos and making the videos all the time is because I can't listen to music at the same time so it's always a little bit tricky well not tricky but it's nice to listen to a bit of music as you're cooking you know what I mean? but I'm recording so technology doesn't allow for it because it's all on the phone everything's linked to the phone the lights the electricity I can't do anything without my phone oh, am I shouting <coughs> sorry Oaks how do the DJs do it? There's it. There's it. Okay, so, got some exciting news and some less exciting news. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Happy Saturday. Uh, drinking a bit of Karp Zicht Chenin Blanc, a bush vine 2018. So, I've caved and we are cooking. A, I can stop shouting now. I've caved and we are cooking a, um, a vegan dish. You'll notice that I, I'm using a little bit of butter, I use a bit of cheese. And just omit that. You don't have to ask me, um, you know, can I use oil instead of butter? You can definitely use oil instead of butter. You can, you can use different spices to what I'm using. Um, really, it's entirely up to you. So, very quickly, let's get into it. We are making a cauliflower and fennel bulb soup, okay? Cauliflower fennel bulb soup. Um, we're going to flavor it with turmeric. It's one of my favorite spices. It's fragrant. It's beautiful. And um, and then the kicker here is is that we're going to serve it with a um, with a with a bit of a salad and a sandwich, a sani. Okay. So just to run you through this again, cauliflower fennel bulb soup. Okay. Turmeric, authentic turmeric. I'm going to make a little. Oh boy. Where are the shoes? They're being washed, eh? The shoes are being washed. Um, okay, then I'm going to make a little sony of, uh, of a little bit of camembert with a pizza bread. So that'll be melting as we serve it with that cauliflower and fennel soup with turmeric. Turmeric and uh, camembert. Yes, it does work. Then I'm also going to make a little salad, okay, which is a little bit of a surprise, of the grapefruit, the lemon, the coriander, the fennel bulb, and some peanuts, eh? Eh? Lucky, lucky stuff. All right, so to get straight into it, we don't want to waste any time because these videos only allow me 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the pot on the stove and I'm going to start melting the butter. Okay, just a little touch of butter in there, maybe a little touch more. Um, and then into that, I'm just going to cut my fennel bulb just cut it into big chunks okay so the chunks i say big the top of your uh, the top of your of your thumb okay get that into the get that into the pan i'm actually going to use a slightly bigger pan okay there you have it can use a slightly bigger pan because then we can see what's going on and together in that uh, fennel bulb we're going to add a touch of shallot onion let's put some onion in there rather than shallot this is a shallot but you can use onion okay so the shallots go in there so just to show you what's in the pot the pot basically onion fennel bulb and butter all right don't worry too much if that starts coloring slightly because what we are going to do is we're going to roast the cauliflower. Why are we roasting the cauliflower? Because we can. Because we can, Doris. We can do whatever we want with the cauliflower. Roasting vegetables before you put them into a soup or into a pot or whatever um, just gives it that beautiful roasted sweet flavor. Okay, it intensifies the flavor. There's so much sugars in, in vegetables and by roasting them in the oven, it gives great, great flavor. Okay, so this is another shocking... Uh, another shocking uh, accent. Anyway, now you guys have seen cauliflower steaks. When you are cutting, this is just a small cauliflower. I'm just lucky because I'm small, uh, and I'm only cooking for myself and the boy here. And the boy gets very gassy when he eats cauliflower. Very gassy. He doesn't need any encouragement. The fact that I get more gassy than him is besides the point. 
Um, so if you are cutting cauliflower steak, it doesn't matter how big the cauliflower is, cut it through the core. Because the core is what holds it together. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a little bit of that. Okay, a little cheeky one like that, a little small one for the, for the garnish. I'll put that aside. We'll, we'll get to that later. All right. You can hear this is going now. Stir vigorously, but not too vigorously. Okay, now into a pan, a roasting pan that you can put into the oven. Just cut the cauliflower a little bit smaller. Okay, just cut it a little bit smaller. Let's take those out of there. These little, these delicate little cauliflower leaves are just, are just unbelievable in salads and stuff. Mm. Okay, pan over here, pan into the pan with the little bits of cauliflower okay I'm gonna cut that up a little bit smaller as well look at that quite peppery these young cauliflowers okay just like that beautiful and because I've got uh, because I've got butter in the pan I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this okay and then just roast that in the oven get some color. Put the, put the oven on hot, put it on about 200, just like that. Okay, that's in the oven. Now, let's put that away. Don't need any more of that. that mm. Now, into this, we are going to add garlic, a bit of chili, the uh, a little bit of lemon thyme, and the turmeric. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the garlic, the chili, the lemon thyme that we've chopped. Okay, beautiful. Turmeric. Now with the turmeric again, we're just going to be a little bit careful. I'm just going to put a teaspoon in. I don't want to. I don't want to overpower the, maybe just a splash more. Um, I don't want to overpower everything with the turmeric. Oh, it's too much. Why did I put the extra in there? Okay, so fennel, turmeric, cauliflower. Can you smell it? Beautiful. Just dried up a little bit too much. Just dried up. I'm just going to add a touch of oil to that. I just wanted to want it to fry, you know it's gotta fry. We're back. Can you hear that? You fennel bowl, turmeric, all those beautiful things. Okay. Look at that. See how beautiful that is? Now remember. You can add curry powder, you can add caraway seeds, you can add cumin, you can add, you know, experiment. Play with your food. Don't care what your mother said. Okay, so what you'll also see here is that it just starts forming a little bit of sediment on the bottom of the pan with the turmeric cooking and getting stuck in the pan. So what you can do is just splash it, just splash it with a bit of white wine just to loosen all that sediment. Okay. And then, obviously in with the cauliflower, in with your water or your stock of vegetables. It's very hot in this thing now. Uh, oops. Um, so. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to cook down, just put a lid on it, turn the temperature right down, because otherwise it will burn. Alright, and then what we can do... Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching the 
watching the video. You might wonder what we are doing on YouTube and why we, we got this channel. And as you see, um, all of this happened during lockdown. Uh, COVID-19 is where this, uh, this YouTube, channel, YouTube channel started. And, and one of the big things for me was to, uh, during this, this lockdown period, and especially being in the hospitality industry and owning a restaurant, was to be able to look after my team and my staff. And uh, basically, we, we, um, we have taken my book, Mile 8, and uh, all the sales and all the proceeds to the book are from the book and go to our, our staff fund, which is, which is pretty special. So you can go to the Marble, uh, Marble website and you can purchase your book there. Um, and I think that's just really where, where we are with this channel as well. I think whatever money is raised from this channel, um, obviously we, will, uh, we need to cover for, for production costs and, and, uh, and so forth of the, of the channel itself. But the uh, uh, majority of the proceeds will also then go to a fund. And that fund is going to be ongoing for, uh, for yeah, it'll be ongoing after COVID and everything else. Because I think one of the biggest things that we realize is how vulnerable um, ourselves and our staff become in, in situations like this. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Tune in for the next one. Cheers, guys.